to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza, and today Lola and I are in Las Vegas for the 2023 SEMA show. This is the overlanding this section. This is the overlanding in. expedition section. Yep. It's located this year outside of the arena. So. Absolutely, yeah, for the first time. And we're here in RRE Global's booth, and we're with Mark from Field Band. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. Yes, good seeing yeah. you again, yes. We like field vans. They make really nice stuff. So I thought this is a good opportunity to show, like, I think this is a collaboration with you and uh, uh, RRE, right? That is correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what are we looking at here? Obviously a sprinter. Yeah, a big sprinter. Big one, this 170 is the extended. foot extended, mm -hmm. 170 mm -hmm. sprinter. Beautiful Mercedes. color. Uh, we built this. This is our family package. Uh, okay. This vehicle will sleep six. Six. And we have seating in it. As I said, we have seating for eight in there. Wow. Okay. So, so what we're going to go through here, I get these, this question all the time from people. How can I sleep like six people and, and transport six people at the same time? This can transport eight, Yes. but can sleep six. So we're going to get all into this and give you guys the details right now. As you guys might have already heard, Lola and myself are brand ambassadors for Sunshine State RV. And as Vanasaurs, I want to take this moment to encourage anyone who is in the market for a Class B van to start their journey with SSRV. Sunshine State RVs specializes in selling Class B vans and B plus RVs. That is the reason why they are the number one dealer in all of the state of Florida. Number three in the whole United States. SSRV will fly you right to their location in Gainesville, Florida. They'll give you a very detailed and thorough walkthrough of your van, and they'll give you a two night stay at a local campground so you can get used to your van. If you don't like that, you can actually have hands-free delivery anywhere in the United States of your RV. We bought our Coachman Beyond from Sunshine State RV two years ago. And over the past two years, we've seen how they treat customers when it comes to warranty side. Their service team is great. Whether you bought it from them or not, every person that comes in there gets the same service and care when it comes to warranty repairs. The same service, attention, and care. And their team does a great job getting you back on the road safely. So if you guys are in the market for a B or B plus van, consider Sunshine State RV. We've got a link in the description that you guys can use to see their current inventory and have someone get in touch with you. So I think what we'll do, Mark, is start from the back here and uh, we can go through both what field vans adds to this and then highlight the stuff that's coming from rre and i think the first place to start is how you guys actually figure out getting the space right in order to sleep and uh have folks in here comfortably so how do you do it what's the trick well there there was two uh, must-haves in the van and mm -hmm. one of those is air conditioning yeah because these people like to camp in warmer climate yeah and uh, to package an ac unit you can't do it on the roof when you do the SCA top, so we right. needed some space inside. So we had to okay. package underneath this rear sofa bed both the battery, the inverter, and the Cruise Comfort AC unit. So it's mm -hmm. an internal mounted AC as opposed to a roof mount. Oh, okay. This van also comes with an exterior shower package. Uh, we put cargo lights back here for the cargo area. This long space in here mm -hmm. is for your skis or snowboards. These oh, are, uh, okay. this is a removable on L-Track uh, yeah. rack here. So you could add different things if you wanted to yeah, to those so outtracks. All, all out track in here. Okay. And then we've got our 30 amp panel here, our fuse and circuit breakers there, a 110 okay. uh, GFI plug, and uh, okay. some extra storage. So are you using there. lithium batteries with this? We are using lithium batteries. This one has uh, rely on batteries in it, which okay. are the low temperature ones, so mm -hmm. they can handle the colder temperatures, internal okay. heating mechanism. Warms the battery up before it'll accept the charge. Oh, okay. Uses How many? the initial bit. I think this one has three uh, 300 amp hour batteries in it. Oh, okay. And that's necessary to be able to run that air conditioning for a good length of time. For a good time. Okay, so that's another thing folks are always asking me because, you know, you're, you have clients in different places, right? So if they're on the West Coast most of the time, they don't need the AC or strong AC as much as the folks who, like, we live in the South. <laughs> right, right. You got that so, humidity down there. Yeah, so we would definitely uh, and, use and, that. And where we build the vans in Fresno, nobody mm -hmm. wants to camp in Fresno in the summertime. It's 115 degrees. Right. So <laughs> they're going to go up into the mountains where it's a little cooler. Yeah. Maybe in the 
70s, 80s, mm -hmm. and, but they still want some comfort, cool the van down before they go to bed at night, Yeah, run that AC for a couple hours, Absolutely. and then shut it down, open up the van. Yes. So that's the idea there. Okay. And since you're seating so many people in the van, mm -hmm. you've got to get some extra AC in the back of the van for the, for the right. people sitting back yeah. there. They don't yeah. get enough flow from the front AC to the back. unit to the back. Yeah. So we add extra venting. You can see some vents up there mm -hmm. to filter some air around and yeah. cool off the back end of the van. So a couple of things here. One, I like that you guys have done some finishing work with the with the doors here, right? That makes it look nice as well as I can see. So the, these actually, this has the windows, and so you actually have insulation and everything here. Does that come out? These are shades, they're removable. Oh, okay. So these pull out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice, and okay. And that space. So you can get some light in there get if you want to. Get some light in there if you want during the day. You yeah. Close it down, keep the heat out and the cold out in, yeah. the, in the evenings. Absolutely. So that's a nice feature. Is this these a table? Are, these are flip down tables. Uh, oh, nice. And this is the exterior shower wand oh, Okay. There. So you can these have, have your soap and stuff. Work, work, work station here. Yeah. And that's the uh, gravity fill for your water tank. Oh, very nice. So, okay. So those are nice little yeah. extras there. Yeah. You got speakers out here as well. Yeah, we've had some, some tunes while it. you're showering. And we've got plenty <laughs> of reading lights back here in the bedroom area. Yeah. And, and, uh, and so space on there. This is one of the beds. This is the, the platform bed in the okay. back. And it's uh, 60 inches from front to back, 60 inches wide. Oh, okay. So a pretty good size yeah. bed. Yeah. And you then with the flare space, person. you've got probably 75 to 76 inches. We do an extra large flare on the oh, right. driver's okay. side. Standard flare. Actually, on the big van, we have room to do extended on both sides. Because of where the door's coming back. The door doesn't oh, hit. Oh, okay. Oh, so you get right. those extended flares there. Oh, okay. So you can go, uh, what is it, east-west? East-west. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. So, yeah. And then this looks like it's removable. It is removable. Okay. It takes a, you know, a few wrenches to take mm -hmm. out some of the nuts and bolts to get all the arms out. Mm -hmm. But you can take the, uh, the mattress out. You can take the platforms out. Yeah, if you wanted more storage. Knobs. But there's plenty of room back here to put luggage and stuff like that if you Correct. wanted to. Correct. Uh, and this mattress so. you're looking at back here is the back portion for the sofa bed. Oh, okay. Which also sleeps, too. Oh, okay. And that bed is about 75 inches front uh -huh. to back uh -huh. and about 54 inches wide. Oh, cool. All right. Should we go around this way and go sure. work our way inside? This van's also equipped with the uh, all van uh, product on the back. We've mm -hmm. got uh, B2 bike carriers and all van expedition box. Uh, okay, cool. So you can rack. get your bicycles and get stuff out here. Get your bike on here. there. They've yeah. got a... Um, Serpa, Sherpa rack on the other side. Yeah. That's got some Max tracks on it and uh, right. yeah. some other gear. Yeah, there. you can get tools and stuff in here. And we've if you done want. some cargo lights up above for yeah. you. So I saw up top there's more. Um, there's, I guess you can put some bags or something you up on that. You can put some bags up there. You could put a, yeah. a, a, a short Thule basket maybe mm -hmm. up there that you could put some stuff in. Oh, okay. And, and then here's the pop top from the outside yeah. that we'll show you guys. And this is our uh, pop top. It's an SCA top. We uh, source that through RRE, the van uh, booth that we're in today. Mm -hmm. So there are partners on that top. Mm -hmm. It's a manual top. It's also available now in an electric. We haven't mm -hmm. installed an electric yet. It's fairly new. Oh, uh, so you a can manual. have a, a just a powered one if, yes. you, if, if you can't move. If you can't move it yourself. Oh, cool. So it's okay. a pull up, pull down. Okay, that's and, awesome. Uh, and you have solar panels up on there. We've got two uh, ZAMP 100 amp hour solar panels on the roof. Okay. And they're thinner and lighter weight, so mm -hmm. they're not as heavy to push up and down with the top. Right. So, now, is there somewhere on this van, somewhere where you can add other solar panels to that if you wanted to, or is that an option uh, you that someone might could be take? Able to put a small one maybe at the front of the top, but it's going to add some oh, okay. weight and make it more difficult. Yeah. To now, what if you wanted to put one off to the side you like this? You could certainly add some uh, auxiliary panels oh, okay. outside. Okay, cool. All right, let's uh, keep going in here. I'll, I'll let you guys go in. I'm right behind you. So right here in the entryway, again, this is another product we get from RRE. Mm -hmm. It's their, uh, their smart floor. Yeah. And this is a, a custom floor, subfloor, that we install. Mm -hmm. It's an interlocking aluminum floor. It's DOT certified, crash tested, with their smart seats installed. Yeah. And these seats are easy to remove, put in, remove. You can slide them back and forth. Mm -hmm. When you're sitting in here as a group, you can turn them around so you have a, like a sitting yeah. area and visit. Together. Yeah. It's amazing what kind of options you get with those seats. Yes. We, uh, we actually had the run through of it, believe it or not, before. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they come in two sizes in, this, in the smart model it's the regular and the XL. So one's about 16 inches wide, the other's about 19 inches 19. wide. 19, okay. Bigger adult. What is this floor here? That's interesting. And this is a this is a lawn lawn uh, seal lawn coin uh, product. Oh, okay. It's a marine grade vinyl that we mm -hmm. uh, wrap over the floor mm -hmm. and seal it all up. 
Yeah, it and, looks great. And we roll it up inside on the walls to kind of keep a water barrier so you don't get water spilled and into your insulation. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it'll stay on top of the surface. Yes. Okay, cool. That's awesome. And then the cabinetry here, we've done a, a custom uh, butcher block uh, mm -hmm. walnut top in here with the deep sea blue cabinetry. Mm -hmm. We've got an Isotherm 100 fridge in there. Mm -hmm. And we've got uh, our control center up here for the uh, solar power, the inverter, battery monitors, light okay. switches, our heater, hot water heater. Uh, microwave oven, yeah. and then we've got some nice size uh, galley. Uh, yeah, can we go up in here? So, yeah. To get up into the top, we normally have a telescoping uh, ladder that we would attach here to get, mm -hmm. get you up into the top. We've added a light to uh, their top here. We've got a little LED light with a switch on it. And there's three, uh, three openings that we can open inside mm -hmm. there to get air and ventilation and light in during the day and close up at night. Oh, and it, cool. It comes, the bed comes with its own mattress in yeah. the top. Hey, you want me? I'll grab that from you, Lola, so we can. I'm a little bit taller than you, you kind of by a lot of it, uh, <laughs> just so you guys oh, yeah, can I get a little. Either that, or I was gonna <laughs> jump on the chair. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is very cool. So, uh, just as a question, can you have power up here, Mark, if you wanted to? Uh, there is a, a couple of plugs that are mounted. Oh, there up are. Here. Okay. We've got a USB and a 12 volt plug right here. Oh, okay. All right. That we've added. Mm -hmm. And then we, uh, like I said, we added that light bar there. As yeah, well, that's on cool. The switch. Yeah. Very cool. Here you go, Lola. Over here, this unsnaps, and basically it's a cover, so when the kids go up there to go to bed at night, you can kind of uh, close okay. them up, give them a little privacy if they want, yeah. Yeah. in their little clubhouse up there, Yeah. which is kind of fun for them. Yeah. So if you have a family of four, you can have the parents down here, kids up there. Right. Now, if you, you said you can sleep six. Right. So where do the other... So the other, other occupants, mm -hmm. like I said, are going to be in this large bed here. So that's a large platform bed there. And then mm -hmm. this sofa bed will open up like so and fold down into a bed there. So you're oh, going to cool. sleep with your head here and your feet underneath. Yeah, under there. So, oh, nice. And there's plenty of clearance. Yeah. And we've got a, a lift up here that you can access that luggage storage in that area there. Mm -hmm. Folds down really nice and easy. And then we've got some good sized drawers with some gear in here. So is this wood all the way through? This is a nice this uh, is surface a solid, here. Okay. solid butcher block countertop. Okay, cool. And then we've got some awning windows, sliding windows, get plenty of ventilation into the van. Uh, we've mm -hmm. mounted uh, two lagoon table, those swivel tables. We've got a mount here that the people in this seat can use. And then we've got one up here when your kids are riding in the seats, they can put the table up there as well. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 Nice big sink. So, so far as the amenities here that uh, we could talk about. So one of the things you do give up to be able to carry all the people is an actual bathroom stall, right? In this? Correct. But okay. in, the, in this particular model, we build it also with a full bath in the front, which okay. you're going to lose at least You just two have to take these, these out. Okay. You could probably still have one here. And what yeah. we do is usually run a longer track. Yeah. So we could put them behind each other. Right. So for still some, have your bathroom. Okay. So for folks looking at this, you know, th there's always an exchange in a van. Um, but if you're planning everything out right, you can have places you'll have access to bathrooms and all. You can definitely shower here. You Correct. can have a portable uh, toilet that you bring along with you. Yes. So you can still cover those things even if you're like going off the beaten path. So what amenities do we have? Um, after that, well, we've got the, you've got a small microwave oven here. Mm -hmm. You do have a heater and hot water heater. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, constant uh, hot water heater, endless. As long as you have water, you have endless right, hot water. Right, right, exactly. That trick. Yeah, uh, I think this has uh, 30 gallons of fresh water. Oh, in it does. So okay. that's quite a bit of water. Right. And then you've got a real simple controller here for working the yeah. AC unit. Also, uh, I don't know if you got a, got a look at that, Lola. That's the cruise and comfort control panel right. there. Can you control that with a with a smartphone app? I don't believe this is. It is Wi-Fi capable, but I don't know if there's a control an app that you can actually work it with. Okay. Try that. So. Okay. Can't so answer. these cabinets, um, who makes these cabinets? All of the interior finish and all the cabinetry is done by Field Van. Okay, by Field Van. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what are we looking at here? Refrigerator? Refrigerator. And a, and a nice size storage area underneath. Oh, okay. And we got a kind of got a, a sink cover, cover for the sink. And some matching space there, some cups, that kind yeah. of thing. And then the fridge. Of course, I've got some cold beer in there. Cool. Yeah. So. All right. And the lights are uh, both dimmable. Okay. 
and they're also touchless, so you can yeah. wave your hand over them, and they should turn on and off. Yeah. So. Now, I think you were saying before, I can see it's covered. There's a Max fan there as well. Yes. So and that's, that's cool. a 4500 back there, I believe. No, I think it's a 75. Mm -hmm. And that cover keeps the sun out and yeah. heat. So now up in the pop top, I get this question all the time with the pop tops. What do people do for ventilation? I'm looking at this. It looks like you can open some windows here. Yeah, there's for ventilation three, three, in this. three large windows. They zip out, zip down, and the canvas drops down. Yeah. So you get a cross flow and yeah. forward. As okay. Well. Yeah. So, so up front we've got our uh, worn wrench, winch here, 12,000 pound with a um, synthetic cord on mm -hmm. it. Uh, we've installed a Caltune bumper on here. Yeah, very nice. You can add some lights to that bumper if yeah. you wanted to. I like that the grill's blacked out. What is this color? Do you know? Uh, uh, this I've seen this it is a uh, selenite gray, I believe. Selenite gray, yeah. Looks really good. You know, it's kind of like a stealth color. And then it looks like you've got some rims on here, too. Yeah, we did some method uh, wheels on oh, there. Oh, method wheels, yeah. These are good. I've got these. This is a dually. Uh, is this particular van one of the new all-wheel drive vans, or...? No, this is one of the last of the four-wheel drives. Last four by and four, And we okay. also did an agile uh, off-road drip kit on this Oh, well, cool. Okay. Which is nice Very with nice. that tall van and the extra weight of that top up there. And yeah. It really stabilizes that high roof van. Oh, okay. It's a oh, nice cool. feature. Yeah, so here's the agile off-road stuff. So that's adjustable, right? Uh, that one is not adjustable. Okay. But they do have an upgraded one from that that is. Oh, okay. All right, so here's the flare space you were talking about. Yeah. You have the same size on this side and that side? Correct. And okay. uh, these come in as a fiberglass part. We mm -hmm. bring it in, we uh, have it painted to match the van, mm -hmm. and then we trim out the interior on it. And that adds at least another three to four inches on each side, so you're going to get six more inches of width to sleep across the van. Yeah. Now, do these windows open? And these are sliding windows. These open. Well. What about yeah. these ones? That's an awning window there, so <laughs> if it's raining over that countertop, you don't want to get rain in on your cooking and whatever yeah. you're doing in there, that's an awning It opens side. up like that, yeah. And then a nice sliding window by the seats for the kids. Very cool. Yeah. And short power hookup to charge yep. and fresh water fill. There you go. And there's the exhaust pipe for the... Uh, for the uh, heater, heater, hot mm -hmm. water heater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is. I like how it looks. I like the the functionality of it that you can get so many people in here. So for the folks out there, Mark, that want to get more info on this, because I'm sure they have questions <laughs> and things we didn't cover. How can they do that? They can certainly reach out to us at fieldvan.com, F-I-E-L-D van.com, and we'll be happy to answer their questions. In fact, we have a new feature on the website where you can actually book an online consult with myself or one of their other team team members on the team to uh, talk to you about your plan to build your van. Absolutely. And then, uh, you know, for the stuff that we saw from RRE Global, we'll probably do some more uh, with, with some of the different things they have here, but you guys can go check them out online as well. Yeah, and they have two new products here to show that we're starting to incorporate as well. They have a two-passenger bench seat that folds out into a bed, and then they have a full couch size uh, seat that folds out into a big bed as well. And that also installs on their smart floor, and they're easily, you can move the seats back and forth in the van, and uh, they're a little too heavy to lift out on a regular basis, but they, they really are a nice, comfortable seat. So yeah. you should check those out. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate All right. it. Okay. All right. All right, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying our coverage here of the 2023 SEMA show. Uh, we'll, we'll see you on the next video. We're out of here. Peace.